Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the one, this is the problem. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the AGI repairable atomizer. Uh, we would like to point out we did receive this item free of charge from vapegear.co.uk as for purposes of doing a review today. Um, we're going to do a big shout out for Keith and. Sorry. This Cough. isn't going to reflect in the review, it is going to be a true review. Right, we want to make sure that. <laughs> We're not going to basically say this is good if it's not. Right, we're going to give it a true review because just we want to point out that we did <coughs> get this free courtesy of the guys at um, bakegear.co.uk. Um, really nice guys. They sent us over some, uh, some bits for nothing to do. Guys and girls. Guys and girls, sorry. Kirsty. We ain't forgetting you, Kirsty. I know you cut me out halfway through there, but Keith and Kirsty. Keith and Kirsty. The lovely Kirsty. <laughs> <laughs> the lovely Kirsty. Well, show them the note. All right, yeah, basically, guys, all right, we'll, we'll run through quickly. Basically, I was, well, we were having a chat with Keith, um, and he said, uh, basically, I'll send you down a couple of bits and bobs. He said, how would you like a um, an AGI? And obviously, we was like, yes, please. We've both been looking at one, both been seriously tempted by it. Obviously, when Keith said that to me, I kind of was like, are you joking? I really was like that happy. Worm was the same. I can't believe that. Um, and then Kirsty sent me a nice email saying, we've got a little goodie parcel on its way to you. Um, but basically, courtesy of uh, her and Keith, um, it looks my face, obviously. So I sent a message back and forth. Package arrived today. Um, and inside was this nice little box. And this nice little note it even says, Message or note from Kirsty, so hello Kirsty. Hi um, Kirsty. And Keith obviously, but you're saying what your name on it mate, so you go second unfortunately. Um Ladies first, obviously. Ladies first, generally how we roll. Um basically it says um please find enclosed an AGI and an RSST, a smock RSST, um for you. We look forward to your reviews. Um Kirsty and Keith at vapegear.co.uk. No kiss, I want to point out, so you'll be disappointed, Kirsty. But that was, but a, smiley that was a smiley face, so you're semi forgiven. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, basically, they sent us that through um, to do a review on, which obviously we will express our gratitude because we are extremely grateful. We would like to point out before we go on as well, we are only just touching on proper rebuildable tanks. We've only had the Argo so far. We have got rebuildable drippers, which we have been repairing and making our own coils for, but this is our only our second and third repairable tank. So, yeah, bear with us a little bit on them. Um, we're going to do the AGI first, and we're going to move on to the RSST by uh, Smog. Should we get? Should we knock a few of the um, info about the AGI out of the way first? Of yeah, all? yeah, it's a uh, stainless steel construction, completely. I, I believe it's three hundred three. That's generally what they're made out of. So three hundred three or three hundred four. Yeah, three hundred three or three hundred four. Don't quote us on that. But um, but yeah, basically, it is a repairable tank slash dripping atomizer. So you get two for the price of one type of thing. Uh, it is twenty nine ninety nine from vapegear.co.uk. Um, which is a very, very good price because most of the sites that we've seen it on it is another ten or more than that. So that's a wicked price off the bat. Pyrex glass tank. Is it Pyrex? Is it well here it says it's a Pyrex glass Boris tank. Skolic tank. Well, yeah. I don't know the ins and outs to be honest with you. Um but on it says Pyrex glass on one oh, side. Oh sorry, yeah, it does no, yeah, sorry. And then the Boris Skolic tank. Yeah. It Pyrex. may be the setup, so it's a glass tank, so you're not gonna have to worry about your juices basically. It's a very, very, very nice, well bit piece. Very of thick kit. glass as well, so it's very nice. It's um full full stainless, all polished up, does it lovely. You don't we are gonna show you all the bits taken apart in a minute. Well, most of it anyway. Yeah. Don't get a drip tip included, but don't expect it to with most of the rebuildable <laughs> tanks, to be fair. If you do, it's a massive, massive bonus. You do with the RSST, but that's just what they do. Um we do want to say, guys, straight away, pop on VapeViewer.co.uk and check it out to our regular subs and regular viewers, people who are watching this video. They have got a nice, nice amount of stuff on there. They've got everything from rebuildables, carters. There was a, there's a very, very interesting looking carter tank, Keith. Kirsty, you'll probably be getting an order for one or possibly two of those I very definitely soon. want one. He definitely wants um, one. So. Loving the Vogue, so we're probably going to place an order for those as well, um, just purely because they look like nice tanks. Um, so I reckon we're going to go for them, but it's stainless steel drip tips. And all the bits and bobs you're going to need, pop through there and have a look for yourself. See what you think, but they are competitively priced. So go and check them out, please, guys. It's a it's a nice website. So it's one we've been looking at for a while, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's one we look for a while. It's like speaking to Keith, and he's seen some stuff down. So, oh, wicked. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Definitely uh, be getting a few orders off us. Yeah, no, 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 no it's about that. It's definitely getting some orders off us. They do everything you need, guys. So you can get it all in one one place, which is cool. Um, and I do want to point out just. General nice people. I've had a few discussions with Keith. I had a couple of messages with Kirsty, and uh, helpful um, is is not the word. It is beyond that. So check them out, guys. Did you get Kirsty's number? I did not get Kirsty's number, but I imagine Keith would have something to say about that. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> oh god! <laughs> I really, I was not expecting you to say that at all. Honestly, no, I didn't get Kirsty's number. Um, Keith, I didn't try and get your wife's number. Um, so please don't send me stuff through the post. It's not, not so, not so it was, it was nice as this, but yeah. Wicked site, guys. Check them out for yourself. We are going to link it in the description, of course. Shall we go to close up? And I, think, I think we should maybe get off of me trying to get Kirsty's number, <laughs> which I didn't do. I didn't. I did not. Right. I did not. You want to grab on the Zoom? Yeah, we've got, we got a new camera, by the way, guys. So you may notice our, ran, our ransom. Our ransom? <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, your ransom. Our, our, <laughs> our rugged and hotness. Our rugged handsomeness <laughs> is, uh, is even more improved. So, yeah, we're going to basically... I'm going to tweak the focus for you. We'll get some nice close ups, guys. We'll get up really camera. close. We're going to get up. Oh, oh, let's shine off the light. light. Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll go over the other. side. There you there go. Nice go. and close. It's got UD. nice laser etched engraved. AGI. We should point out, although you can't see me, I'm here. Um, <laughs> although you can't see me, this is made by the same guys who made the Arga T, the Arga S. Um, so it's it's going to be good. All right. They're, they're an experienced company in this kind of stuff. And obviously, the Argos speak for themselves. I would like to point out, this doesn't come with a call, but I already have put one in here just because I was playing around with it before we got on camera. I wanted to make a little dripper out of it. So we are running. That's a dripper drip. wick. Um, you do get a nice little goodie bag down here with spares. You get some mesh and some wick in there, guys. Um, I nicked the mesh for the RSST. We'll get onto that uh, when we do the review. And you get a nice little uh, Allen key here, which you've got two holes down. Uh, you got one. That's why I'm doing this back to front. One there and one there, which is a grub screw. Uh, basically, you just use this Allen key to take them out for when you're using it in tank form. When you use it in dripper, you put your grubs in. And it obviously stops the juice falling down into your tank or into your battery if you're not using it on top of the tank at the same time. Um, sorry guys, I'm just saying off camera a sec. I'm going to put that top back on because you don't need any more in there. Oh, I, actually, I didn't even point this out. You'll see you've got your positive in the middle, you've got a negative there, but you can use your fill hole, which is under the wick under here, as a negative as well, depending on what setup you're using. I'm going to pop that back on just for a second. And obviously, oh, bit of juice. Obviously, I've been using it. Sorry guys. Um, this unscrews. The screw is actually inside on this. If you when I get there, so quite a there you go. So look, there's a screw there, which is obviously when you're uh, dripping. Five ten for when you're dripping. Yeah, but it's it's got you got your glass tank, and then you've also got this bottom bit, which is it's got like a spring in it, which is basically what connects your positive to your dripper when you use it in tank form. Which it oh, which it has got a sleeve which sits inside and screws over the top of this, and you do get a spare spring in there as well. So if you do Miss having to uh, drop this and lose this while you're uh, washing it out. Oh, a bit too close. While you're, while you're washing it out, there is a spare one, so you're all good to go. There are spare, there's a spare grub screw and there is a spare positive or negative screw for your main posts. Uh, I don't believe there is a spare refilling screw, but you that's quite big. You shouldn't have trouble finding that when you drop it on the floor, which we have done several times. We haven't <laughs> thrown stuff everywhere. I, I do. Focus, we haven't thrown stuff everywhere. But, um, Sorry, I'm going to come back and focus. Yeah. Up. Basically, <clears throat> oh, there is uh, two O rings there, and there is three spare in the actual bottom as well. Yeah, it's double O rings at the top. Do them O rings are nice and tight. Okay, so yeah, I don't think you're going to have a similar problem that you do with the Igo L. I haven't actually used an Igo L, but I have seen plenty of reviews, and I know that they can be a little bit slippy. <laughs> Even when these O rings are lubed up, it is quite a nice, tight, snug fit. It's the very fact tight. you get a few spare O rings um, is, is double, pretty cool. It? it is double O ring on the top there. Yeah, um, so obviously, kind of all the things you want in a tank, and they basically made that so you can use it as a dripper as well. All positives. Um, there is no actual stats. I had a little look on a few places uh, about how many drips you can drip into this as a dripper, but I'd imagine it's similar to an Igo L to primary wick, and you're probably going to get about 10 drops. There is a well in there. Um, so that is basically combining the Igo L with the Arga, which is pretty cool, seeing this, especially on vape gear. Um, this works out to be around the same kind of price, maybe slightly cheaper. 29 99 isn't it? 29 um, So it works about the same, same kind of price as the Argo, maybe slightly cheaper, and the Argo Plus, uh, the Argo T um, together. Why around price on this? But we will say on most other sites, this is around 40 to £45. Pound. I've said that. Yeah. Are you ever? Yeah. I wasn't listening to you. I'm professional. Um, <laughs> wrong one. But um, yeah, basically, you get it all together, but the fact that you can sort of get this look, because this is a very nice looking tank, I prefer it to the Argo, I prefer it to the Igo L. I prefer it to, if I'm honest with you, the SST. Um, so it is a nice looking bit of kit. I haven't got well a battery finished. in my van at the moment, but um, I will show you on that because it does line up beautifully. I mean, there it is on the uh, Vamo, and it's pretty much seamless. 
you've got a little gap between the, the, the bottom of the uh, AE and the top of the mod. But <clears throat> it's just one of the things you do get the upside again. It's pretty much level. It's, 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 it's basically made to fit like, size-wise size as a vanilla, which is pretty cool. Um, um, okay. Are we going to get onto the nitty gritty of this now? Or are we going to still fanny around? That's it on the Bavari, it's a slight overhang, so... You've got to expect that though, the Bavari's cut in... Uh, it's not a Bavari's Nevamo. It just isn't. Um, but on this review, we are doing this as a dripper. Yeah, we decided right. to do dripper because we're going to do the RSST in the tank. Yes, but so, we also got more experience with dripping and repairing them, so when it comes down to it, it's going to be a little bit easier for us to maintain a solid coil and probably get a better experience from it. I mean, we, we will do this as a tank eventually, don't go wrong, it's, it is coming. You've got to follow up in about a week, I'd imagine. Yeah, um, but uh, we want to play around with this because obviously <clears> tanks only take a little bit longer to bed in than a dripper, so we want to get this going. This is why I've, I've literally only primed this twice. Well, you primed it once and, primed it, it, but, it, and, and then re dripped it, and then basically done this video. So, but yeah, I'm just going to put my uh, bottom bit just to the side up there for a minute, and uh, I need to drip some lemon. You drip some lemon. Um, I have no idea what you're doing, dripping lemon. Yeah, I'm dripping lemon. Okay. I've got to um, line up the air hole in my Oh, right, okay. Because obviously this is... He's very, uh, very particular with the air hole placement. With me, around the coil is, is pretty good enough and twinkle it slightly. He has to bang on every time. And to be honest with you, I know it's no difference whatsoever, but whatever. Um, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically... I don't care what he says. He's a minge. <laughs> basically, um, with this a dripper, tank, rebuild or whatever. Um, I think it's it's good if you're using predominantly drippers, which I know quite a few of the people we talk to regularly are, um, because you can take a punt on a tank, and worst is worst case, if you don't get on with it, um, and there are people that don't get on with them, um, you've still got a very, very nice, very good looking dripping at it, which is obviously never a bad thing. Um, the idea with the tank, to be honest with you, We've said this before, the tanks are more for us an indoor vape. It's not something we're going to tend to take out and about purely because something, or to be, I find it easier to drip when I'm out. You drip three or four, have a puff, and you're done. That's your bag time, if you like. Um, but I know there are people that take tanks out and about with you. So this could be a very good one. I mean, all right. What coil have you got there? What I'm Oh, it is, I think it's a 2.2 uh, wrap there. I will just check it for you guys. You can hopefully see it better on this camera. Right? 2.1, 2.2. There you go. Oh, that's right, a lot better on this one. Maybe your vanner will jump on this or my Never uh, But yeah, 2.2. I'm running this at. I think it's about 4.4. 4.5. 4.5. So, I mean, we do want to point out with this with this uh, in general, the core south is slightly more difficult than it is with something like a Zeus or an A7 or a DDA, purely oh. because um, you have to wrap your coil or your, your negative and your positive around the top place to screw it down, similar to you doing the ICO. Um, as opposed to the A7 and the Zeus and the DDA, where you put it through the post and take it up uh, and screw it in. Um, so it's fractionally more difficult. Personally, no major, major thing, but I know some guys flinch at the sight of having to pick up a screwdriver. If you're one of them people, maybe not for you, but I would seriously, seriously get over the screwdriver phobia because it takes two ticks, it really does. But I'm going to say, guys, this is already slightly bedded in, but it's only been like five, ten minutes max. And you can already see the vapor coming off this. This is a Brilliant little dripping atomizer that comes with a tank. I mean, I paid 40 quid for a Baron, which is basically, it is slightly outpour form in this, but when you can get this into tank mode and it's doing the same thing, I can imagine this being pretty much a solid indoor vape all the time. Fill it up with your favorite juice, good to go for a day. Yeah, yeah, I, that. I mean, um, the cords were a little bit harder to uh, place on the top of that because obviously it's it's two actual screws, so you've got to get the wire under there, hold it, get the screwdriver in there. A little bit more fiddly than your average rebuildable, probably. Well, no, same as any Genesis, really, because it is basically a Genesis style. So. We're talking about as a dripper. I'm talking about as just recoiling it completely. Oh, the coil in. Yeah, just putting a coil in. It's, well, it's, it's no more difficult than pretty much every other device out there. I know you've got to use a screwdriver, but to be honest, if you've got a micro screwdriver, they fit in your palm. It's, it isn't any more difficult. All you do is literally wrap around, screw in, and you hold one against the body and get a total tension in it, screw it down, and then bring your positive or your negative over. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, like rebuildables, you're going to know about all this anyway. My honest opinion, if you're sort of using a Nova or Carto tanks and you want to move into rebuildables, um, this isn't a bad place to start. There are easier places. There are definitely easier places. But this is not a bad place to start because you can take it off, use it as a dripper, get used to wrapping your coils, and then move on to the tank. I think that's the main selling point of this item is like if you can't get the tank to work, which we generally struggle with that kind of side of it, we haven't tried 
these ones too much yet. We did wrap one quickly and it was just like rushed and it didn't work at all. But um, as a dripper, first time off you go, you're ready to rock and roll. So the fact that you're getting a tank and a dripper with it for the price of £30, which if you bought a tank and a dripper, you're probably going to spend £30 anyway. Well, I spent 20 well, I had a discount code from Liberty Flights, but I spent about 21 quid on my um, Arga T2. So, and that's just a tank. It's just a tank, and to be honest, with you, that's that's more complicated to set up than this is. Um, I can't see it outperforming this, There's and a lot it's more not as good as looking. Well. Like there the is nuts. a lot more screws. There is a lot more fiddly bits. It's a lot more there. pain in the bum. It's made by the same company, but I think this is obviously this is obviously newer. So I'd imagine they've worked on improving on the Arga and adding sort of the 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 dripping part into it as well. I do want to say, having I've, I've watched when I'm doing this for about five minutes, this is performing really well, actually. Really well as a dripper. So, I mean, out, should we go through our little list quickly? Well, you want to go through the five point yeah, list? Yeah, we'll go for the five point list. I mean, looks on my Bamo, 10. On my Pravari, nine, eight and a half. Um, is that all you've got to say on it? Yeah, I don't really want to go into it too much because. Alright, um, for me, looks, it just looks good. I actually really like the way this looks. Um, I mean, to be honest here, that isn't my kind of preference. To be fair, I prefer like the stainless tips. Um, and if you're using something like a, a mod, like a morph, um, the body's going to match up lovely. That with a nice stainless tip, I prefer that. Um, but looks for me. It's, it's a solid ten. It's such a nice looking. Little it thing. is a really good look. Um, it's just all round. A good looking at it. It's sleek and really. Yeah, I, feel, I love the fact that you can do everything with it. I love the fact that it's a dripper and a tank. Um, so even if you aren't firm, fond of drippers, you can have a tank and vice versa, or you can just experiment with both. Or you can go, I've got a coil in that. I've reduced these are basically empty. Let's unscrew the tank. Let's clean up the 510 and let's have it put the grub screws in. Let's have it as a dripper. So you know, it is, it's pretty cool that you can, you've got all of those options. It's really good. It's not really hard to change from one to the other as well. It might be a little bit messy. We're not saying it won't because there's obviously juice that's been in there, but you can do it either way. Um, usability next. Yeah, you first, mate. Usability. Other than once you, um, it's not hard. It's really not. If I mean, if you're used to Genesis styles, tanks and rebuilding, it's it's going to be like a nine for usability. And once you've got it all set up, because that is that's part of maintenance. Usability is a nine. It's just like there may be a little bit of. Um, Technical issues if like your your wick isn't doing it, uh, sucking up the juice quick enough, but that's again part of maintenance. So once you've got it up and running, usability is a nine. It's just screw it on, off you go. I can't see any problems with it unless you like maybe you're getting some hot spots where you've knocked it around a bit. So usability for me, um, I'm actually going to give this yeah I've got a nine or a ten. If you if you're used to Novas and stuff, Cartos, Clearos, then start maybe something like. A DDA, um, if you want a drip up. If you want a tank, then this is probably a good place to start um, because you get a bit of everything and it's not that hard to set up realistically. Yeah, usability for me is about a nine. Say so the coils are not a problem. The, the drippers, we've got so used to um, wiring and wrapping drippers that it's, it's literally a two minute job for us now. So, yeah, usability for me is a nine. It's very, very easy to use. It's a solid piece of kit. It's, it's just really good. It's really, really good. Paints. Um cleaning you may have some issues with losing parts losing parts down yeah. the sink we use a colander and wash them out over the top of a colander we would recommend something similar or just putting a plug in and make sure you don't empty that water until you've got all your bits out other than that maintenance is pretty much once you've washed it putting the coil back in and mm -hmm. once you get used to doing that it's going to be a nine yeah. before you get used to it it's going to be a pain in the ass and you are going to rage at it it's going to be a six or a seven, yeah. but once you get used to it, it means oh, yeah, once you're used to them. I mean, it's the thing is, it's not reflection on the device. To be no, honest, with it's, it's a reflection on the learning curve. If you're moving, if you're dripping, then fair enough. This kind of is your next step. If you're using a, a, a CE fiber or V3, or if you're using a Nova or a Mini Nova or Bogues in a car or tank or just a native, honestly. Um, you're going to struggle no matter what tank system you move on to if you're going into rebuildables like this, you just are. So it's not a reflection on the device. If you're using that kind of stuff, research, watch some videos. We're going to post some videos ourselves. We just wanted to get this review out there as quick as possible um, for keeping Kirsty. Um, mainly Kirsty. Uh, mainly Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Stop um, 
I haven't texted her. I haven't got her number. Um, on this. <laughs> He's such an ass. But um, yeah, basically, I just want to get this out as, as, as quick as possible, just purely because that they were really, really good in sending it down to us. So um, we wanted to sort of make uh, make it um, make it clear that we was very grateful for that. We are um, very grateful indeed. Extremely. But again, it's not hard to use in general. But if you're using cards, blurs, and stuff, then try and make steps towards this kind of thing because you'll buy it. You'll give up on it after five or six goes, and you'll be like, oh, it's fucking shit, you're saying, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, if you haven't got a clue what you're doing, don't expect to come up smelling the roses first time, because you're not going to. No, you're not. Um, we've had several goes at Argus, and um, I've had a little play around with the RSST, and Worms had a go at the um, AGI, and yes, we get them working. Um, it's, it's not too much fuss, but there's a difference between getting something working briefly, which we do a lot of the time, and then it working consistently. We've had it working consistently, but it is more work. If you're using this in tank form, we've said before, you can oxidize your mesh, or you can wrap your coils, stick them in a box, and then when you need to replace it, it makes it a bit quicker, you've just got to insert it, stick it in, which once you're used to doing, it's not hard at all. So maintaining it, if you're used to Genesis style tanks, it's a 10, it's a 10. It's just as easy, to be honest with this, Although it's two things, I've seen tanks with a lot more stuff to lose, like my Arga, it's got yeah, a lot a of things point. you can lose. Um, this, although it has a lot of bits, it's not as many as that, and they're not as small. So take that consideration. Maintenance for me, it's easy to wash out. It's not too bad to wick. Um, what was better than a lot of rebuttals anyway. So your maintenance for me is an eight if you use the Jenny style tanks. If you're not used to them, then none of them are going to be above a four. It's just <laughs> that simple. If you're not used to this kind of tank, you're going to struggle at the beginning, unless you're really tech savvy, really knowledgeable, watch a lot of videos and get lucky. Apart from that, you're going to struggle with the start. It's just the way it's going to be. Um, flavor, we're going to do some sort of general vapes, so flavor and vapor, kind of flavor production I mean, and vapor. Production. Again, this is only like being bedded in now, what we're talking, 20 minute video plus five minutes before. You're talking 25 minutes, half hour tops. Um, the flavor is coming through banging i mean we're dripping lemon at the moment i'm getting very citrus hits of this um so yeah so far so good i mean the flavor is comparable to well it's better than the dda it's definitely better than the dda, better than DDA. Not, to be honest with you it is i'm saying it, gonna say a7 at the moment a7 to zeus like which if you've watched those videos that we've done the a7 you don't really get much better than that unless you want to spend like 50 quid on an e-baron and to be honest with you you're paying more for the, with that, you pay more for the fact there's replacement coils in that because the build quality on the on the two are parallel. They are really are. This is a very 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 well built oh, the device. The, uh, the I remember doing rings. the screws when you're actually putting the tank back on. Very nice, very clean. So yeah, the flavor is really good. I mean, vapor production again, excellent. Yeah. It's comparable to the A7 oh, at well, the moment. It's almost this, comparable to the Baron, if I'm honest. Yeah, with you. it's getting close, but this is like I say, it's still bedding in. So, like we said before, this is probably going to hit barren standards when you get there. What's your numbers? Come on, what's your numbers? Flavor and vapor. Flavor, nine. Vapor production, nine. Okay. But I expect them to go up to 9.5s, if not 10s, hitting barrens. As a dripper. As a tank, it should perform just as well, given you setting it up right. Just the added effect, you haven't got to keep dripping. As a tank, I, I assume it'd be exactly the same. Once you've got it all work, working and rocking and rolling, you're good to go. Happy days. Got a day, you got flavour for a day. Flavour for me, compared to other drippers, it's bloody good. It is very, very good. It's um nearly barren. It really is. I'm sorry, I know you love the barren, but it is nearly barren. It is nearly yeah, barren. The, the, the lemon on this is coming through more than it would on another um, another dripper. Um so flavour for me is a nine and a half, and this is barely been used realistically. Vapor, well, Vapor off that. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly use this and I'll explain what this is after. Okay, I do want to point out that they're almost comparable. This looks like a DDA, and it is a DDA, but <laughs> this is the but. This is a 2.2 running on 4.5. 4.5. This. <laughs> is a creation of mine today. Okay, I've tinked around with DDA, customized it, drilled it out. This is a 0.5 ohm dual coil running on 4.1 volts. This is at the minute is nearly 30 watts. This at the minute is about 12. Okay, and they're almost comparable. Yes, this is a much area draw. While we're talking about draw, this draw is quite airy. 
Okay, it's more airy than the RSST by far. It's more airy than the Arga, but I like the area drawers more recently. Um, and this has got two one and a half mil holes. This is like breathing. This uh, DD at a minute. This uh, this AGI. It's slightly more airy than the. Um, if we're gonna go on a scale of one to ten. One to ten on how airy is. One being tight. Ten bit. This is an eight. It is fairly loose, but it's a nice draw. It's not horrible. No, it's not standard. Really. It's not horrible. It's just um, if you are used to using your Novas and your B3s and your junk from straight after this, expect to be uncomfortable for the first day when you join on it. Yeah, it does take a little bit of used to that. It's not really uncomfortable, it's just weird. It but, feels different. Vapor for me off that is a 10. That's a really, really, really well performing bit of kit, especially since you can drop about 15 drops into that. It's holding in the middle of juice. Realistically, even at my vape pace, that's a 20 minute to 45 minute vape. Um, like I say, this I've customised a bit and this is now the same. But flavour vape off of that, I'm actually really impressed. As a, I, I expected, to be honest with you, my expectation was, even when looking at it, which is one of the reasons why I haven't bought it yet, is because they've merged the two tank and dripper, that overall it performed fairly well, but individually they'd suffer. Um, this as a dripper is not suffering at all. This is a bloody good dripper. It Very really good. is a good dripper. So take that as you will, but flavor and vapor for me are near on tens. Um, it's just really good. It's using silica, obviously, being a dripper. Um, but like I say, as a tank, using steel, metal mesh, maybe 500 grade, maybe 400, depending on what juice you're running, how high BG concentrate is. It could be, it could be, Flat out tens if you get the setup right. Overall, excuse me. Overall, it's it looks good. The dripper so far is working banging. It's a 9.5. If that tank system works when I get it working as well, like it does in the dripper, it's going to be a 10. Easily 10. Yeah. It's um overall for me, it's just everything included. <laughs> Price is 30 quid. Yes, it's slightly more expensive than Urago. It does a lot more than Urago and it's easier to use. Um, of course, it's more expensive than Urago L. It's two and a half ish times the price. But again, you don't get tanked with Urago L. And I do want to point out as well that the Urago doesn't look anywhere near as good as this. And from what I've seen, it's not as well built. It's not that it's badly built, but you do have some slight issues with the O rings if you hang a heavy mod off it. With this, you will not have that. It's, I mean, go and take the plunge. There you go. That is a fully loaded Ferrari with extension cap. Um, running an 8500. 8, 8, 8, yeah. 8, this go. is not a light mod. No, it's a very, very heavy mod. That is not going anywhere. Okay. I'm just waiting for <laughs> the push. I'm waiting for the push. That is an Imago. Is that going to zoom in? Yeah. You can, can see that. It? No, yeah. that's right. They can tell that that hasn't budged at all. Okay, so I have got a little bit of a leaking issue now. Well, out of the just shaking <laughs> it around the whole um, He's well that with about a mil of juice, so that's why there's a leaking issue. But. Yeah, it's a very, 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 very nicely piece, nicely finished piece of kit. So, all in all, for me, this thing as a Genesis style at eight and a dripping at eight, uh, eights, nines, and halves. All right. Um, well, as a Genesis, it's a nine. As a dripping at eight, it's a ten. I like dripping at eight. I always have done. Um, tanks, I find just drippers easy to use and they perform just as well. So, and I don't mind dripping. A lot I of people do. I think once we master putting the. Uh... Genesis style tanks on there and getting them wicking properly. This is just going to be all round. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's going to, don't be wrong. It's just... Tanks performing well and whatever else is fine. But like I said, for me, these are indoor vapes. In which case, I may as well be dripping, and it's, it is easier to use as a dripper. But you have got the advantage you can use as a tank. And I do want to point out, it's just I know it's square, like squarish, but it is a, it's really nice looking. It's just this kind of thing really sits well with me, especially on something like. Special on the Bamo, um, it just does look lovely, lovely stuff. I think we're actually putting it on the Bamo. Yeah, well, it's got no battery in that minute, guys. It's charging, unfortunately. But, um, do you want to? Overall, for me, I mean, I do like the way it looks. Unfortunately, there's a little gap there, but you're not going to get that on every mod. I don't care about the gap. It doesn't bother me. Oh, there you go, then. Um, the, obviously, the air hole is inside the body and not in the uh, fire tank connection. So, the gap, if you can get that sit plus on certain devices, then it's not going to be a problem at all. Yeah. So yeah, just all around really nice, really good dripping at a tank Genesis style. Um, good thing, thing. Sorry, really professional at the minute. But yeah, no, it's really nice. Um, I do like this. I am so grateful that um, Keith and Kirsty took the time to not only to uh, to have a few email conversations with uh, with what was with me, but um, uh, I was basically there. Yeah, uh, in spirit. Um, but um, yeah, the fact that it was just. They went, okay, we'll send it down. Why don't we do a couple of reviews on it? And I think they're generally looking forward to the reviews as well. Um, and I think that's really, really cool that they've done that. And I do want to 
show my appreciation. I think one agrees as well. We'll show our oh. appreciation. The fact that you took the time to not only talk to us, but send us down a couple of nice, nice products to review. There will be a um, link up to their page under this. There will be a link to their page under this. Please yeah. do go and check them out, guys, because they've got some nice stuff on now, and they are very reasonably priced. They're more than reasonably priced, I would say. Just compared to a lot of other sites, we've looked for this on other sites. Like we said, forty-five pounds, or forty pounds, or forty-five pound on theirs, thirty pound. The, um, um, we're not going to name them other sites, obviously. I don't want to no, no, slag not, sites off. Slag I, I need to do that because the price is fixed. So I was going to check them out. But um, yeah, no, really, really grateful, guys, that you uh, sent those through. And we are going to do the tank follow up to this, aren't we? And we're also going to do the RSST. Um, well, soon. Maybe today, maybe not. I um, think it'll be tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. But um, So them videos are coming, guys. But yeah, just a really, really cool thing that um, both of you have done. And they're, well, we, we, you've got us coming to you for some tanks, you ain't got to worry about that for sure. Um, and I do want to point out as well, we've been struggling to find uh, mesh and stuff recently. A lot of sites that sell these rebuildables don't sell the mesh that goes with it. Um, it's kind of like, oh, what's the point? Well, they're but, always sold out. Well, it's not, I don't want to be sold out. It's just when you never have it in stock. <laughs> well, yeah. But um, but no, I've, I noticed um, that maybe I've got a nice decent size of the mesh at a nice price. So check that out as well. If you're not looking into this kind of thing and you do want to move on to the carter tanks, whatever else, there is a very interesting carter tank. I'll say me and when we're going to buy one. Yes, definitely. What is the tank called? I don't know. Do you want me to find it? Yeah, quickly find it. Um, <sighs> I'm just going to go over again that um, we are mainly thankful, for, thankful to Kirsty for a little smiley face. We, we did appreciate the smiley face. <laughs> the next time, can we have some kisses, please? <laughs> I'm serious, I want some kisses. Right, okay. Yeah, the, uh, if you want to put some kisses on there too, he will appreciate that. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You can't sit here and say that I'm the one trying to get Kirsty's number and then give it the, I would appreciate Keith's kisses. That's just not how it works. Quite clearly, you're the gay one. Um, <laughs> the, AG, the AGR Cartomizer Tank V2 is the tank we're looking at, so um, you're going to get all the slides off us, guys. Definitely. And some bugs, hopefully. And we'll definitely some bugs. It'll probably be a punch as well, because um, we're going to use them as our about vapes. But... I don't really know where we're going with this video now. I've kind of, yeah, I have kind of hit a, a bit of a blind spot. Mental wall, mental um, wall, mental block. Um, but yeah, basically. Have we got a discount code for it? Well, I don't think we have got a discount code. We Keith, have a Keith, if you've got a, if you've got a discount code, Keith and Kirsty, please feel free to comment in this uh, thing so people can uh, visit or email it to me either way. No big deal. Um, barring that, I think we're wrapping up here, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're wrapping up here. I, I think mean, we are going to wrap up here. It's been a long day. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, basically, I want to obviously massive thanks to Keith and Kirsty, massive thanks to our regular subscribers, obviously Dan, Head Dog, didn't forget this time, Head Dog. Um, also, uh, Angel, or, Angel, I'm not gonna <laughs> offend Head Dog anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, Angel or AG, Angel Vapes, I remembered. Um, yeah, big shout out to you as well, and obviously, you've got Robbie, Steve, a few of the other regular guys as well. Um, so, yeah, big shout out to you guys, I know you're gonna be watching this. Um, and just yeah, thanks for uh, following us and uh, keeping up the track of what we're doing. We do really, really appreciate the take, the fact that you take the time to sit here and listen to us flap on like a pair of idiots for that half an hour for minimum. Yeah, it does seem to be a, a trend that's developing that these aren't any longer quick reviews; they're films. Um, so, if anyone's got any tips or like knows why people can't do long videos, we'd like to know why. Yeah, because we can't shut up. <laughs> 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 Obviously, but um, yeah, this has been a review on the um, the UDA GI guys. Um, really nice bit of kit. Check for eight gear that you pay up. Have a little look around. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Kirsty. Um, and I think we're done, guys. Yeah, thank been, you very much. Thank you very much. I've been uh, Mr. Proton, and this has been the worm. We'll catch, we'll catch you soon, guys. Oh, I can't find the button. <laughs> <laughs> My mouse isn't working. <laughs> right, guys, we are going now. Mr. Proton Worm, see you soon.